Hi folks, I'm Marcel and you're watching The Pulse. Now over the past couple of years, I've posted over 100 videos and most of them are centered around the topic of NMN and how it can help you in various ways. Uh, I've attained more energy, better focus, better fitness recovery, and I really love taking it and I've gone way down that rabbit hole to live this NMN lifestyle. But there are some downsides to taking NMN. It's not all peaches and cream. There are some negative things out there that people People bring up consistently in the comments and I just wanted to address them and acknowledge them head on once and for all uh, and so now I've compiled the list of the five worst things about taking NMN uh, on a daily basis and the first one the first worst thing is the expense uh, NMN is an expensive supplement to take every day. Uh, if you want to just take 500 milligrams every day, uh, it's going to cost you roughly $40, give or take. I mean, you can save 10% using my code, the pulse at do not age.org. They also have health points. They have a subscription plan. You do all those things and you'll save the most. Uh, but it still costs you something. By the way, if you use my code, the Pulse, I do get a small percentage that helps support my efforts on this channel. So that's appreciated. Uh, but it is an expensive molecule. And if you want to take one to two grams, the price just goes up from there. And if you want to basically boost the impacts of NMN based on the science that's out there, you need to take things like a sirtuin activator, resveratrol, quercetin. I take fisetin. I rotate those three on different days. I also take TMG. I also take apigenin. And I take some other supplements as well because I've adopted this supplement, Do Not Age Science, and I've taken it pretty much to an extreme. Not everyone's going to want to do that. But no matter where you are on that spectrum, it's expensive. It costs a lot to do. I believe there are payoffs there. I believe it's worth it. But let's face the facts. Most people can't afford to do what I'm doing. They just can't. I find that unfair. I find that unjust. And hopefully we can push back on some of the things that the FDA, for example, is doing, which has caused that price to freeze. Every year, for the past five years, the price of NMN went down, uh, many thanks to, to Do Not Age, because they were the first one that brought a significantly less expensive pure NMN to the market years ago. And now we're dealing with you know, a marketplace that's kind of frozen in time because Metro Biotech, David Sinclair, hence the FDA, have made their moves to try to remove NMN as a supplement. We're still in a limbo state now, and the prices got frozen. Nobody's budged for for the most part, for the past year on NMN. And this is a real downside that just perpetuates this whole expense problem. So it's a real shame. NMN was about to go mainstream. It was about to be everywhere. It was about to be more affordable. And now we're just frozen in this limbo state. So I hope the log jam clears soon and we can, again, start to tackle incrementally that expense issue. But that is the biggest barrier to entry. That is the biggest problem about taking NMN today. And I acknowledge that. It's it's a tough one. We need, to, we need to improve this so that more people can have access to this molecule. Now, number two is the science is incomplete. You know, this is something that's brought up in a droning manner week after week, uh, video after video. Every comment section has something about, well, there's no definitive studies. Well, we're not going to have definitive studies for decades. Let's face it, you know, vitamin D has been around for a long time. And we just now got a study earlier this year out from Canada that was a 10-year study that definitively weighs in on some of the benefits of taking vitamin D. So where are we going to be with NMN? I mean, it's going to be decades the way I look at it. I mean, if you look at health spans, human lifespans, um, before we really know, and that's without further interference from governments and corporations and drug companies pushing back on it being available to many people. So without interference, we're still looking at best case scenario. We're looking at 20, 30 years before we know a lot more or something close to definitive, and it could be even more. It might not even be in our lifetimes, which is a real shame. So you got to weigh the pros and cons that we have out there today. We have um, computer studies. Artificial intelligence has been employed to come up with these molecules at Harvard that presumably can help your health. Uh, they did uh, studies on mice, they did studies on yeast, and they're, uh, we're in the early stages of studies on human beings. 
I can tell you anecdotally, I know of thousands of people taking Enamin. There are over a million people taking Enamin. Enamin has grown in popularity exponentially, and I don't think it's by accident. But that's my opinion. You know, that's anecdotal evidence, and I get it. It's true. Uh, the science is incomplete on NMN, and that's a barrier to entry for a lot of people. And I just acknowledge that. we got to be honest about that. At the same time, I'm going to keep taking it. I'm, I'm feeling good and feel like I'm doing great. I'm going to keep taking it. So the next worst thing about taking NMN is it is the doorway to a rabbit hole. All right? A rabbit hole of wellness. When I first made my video, and it went viral, and I'm grateful for that because I wouldn't have this channel if that first video didn't take off, off the way it did. Um, but some people said, hey, welcome to the rabbit hole that is NMN. And I didn't know what they meant. I honestly even asked the guy in the comment section, what do you mean by that? Uh, now it feels like a, a, you know, duh moment, right? It, it means... NMN awakened something in me, and I think it does in a lot of others. It was the doorway to something, and then I got greedy. I wanted more. So I thought, well, how can I maximize this? How can I get more out of this? If I feel 30, 40, 50% better, how can I get closer to 100? How can I do more? How can I recover even better? Uh, it made me want to do sports, and then I had some soreness issues. Not recovery issues, but actual injuries because I overdid it. I pushed too hard. So it's been a quest for the past two years to maximize the impacts. I've quit sugar. I've quit processed foods. I've quit most breads. I haven't had an alcoholic drink, and I already reduced it. I haven't drank any alcohol in the past two weeks. I am exercising more than I ever had in my life. I'm eating healthier than I ever have in my life. Part of it is I want to metabolize all these supplements I'm taking. So I want to be as healthy as possible so that if there are any negative consequences of taking all these supplements, maybe I can overwhelm it by eating really, really healthy and exercising a lot and sleeping well. And so far, knock on wood, it's worked for me. I feel great. I'm doing great. But it is a rabbit hole. There's a lot that I'm doing living this NMN lifestyle, and, and it may not be for everyone. You know, you're, you may be somewhere further down the spectrum. So you may not want to go as all in the way I have on taking all these different supplements. I get it. I acknowledge it. It's a difficult part of NMN because to get the full thing, it's an incomplete solution on its own, right? I, I kind of view myself right now as a re-rendering. And so I've taken my 55, 56-year-old self, which was rock bottom, frankly, and tried to turn back the clock to a 25, 30-year-old peak self and what I've ended up with is a re-rendering that's somewhere around 70, 75% of that self, right? I still have some loose skin. I still have some wrinkles. I still have gray on the bottom hair of my hairline, but a lot of it's turned dark, as you guys have witnessed over the past couple of years watching these videos. Um, I've also started, because I quit alcohol, I've started to fill in some of the cracks with a little more uh, hydration in my face, a little more water retention in my skin. So I feel like I'm doing pretty great. I feel like I'm... I'm uh, at least looking, but I'm definitely feeling great, but I think I'm looking better. But it's not a complete re-rendering. It's an incomplete solution. NMN is only part of the way, and that may drive you a bit nuts. Maybe viewed as a positive, it can also be viewed as a glass half full kind of thing. It's up to you to decide if it's worth it or not again. Four, safe sourcing is a big problem. Take it from someone who took a fake NMN for seven months before I found out. And then I started having NMN tested at a lab here in Mainz, Germany. I did that with Do Not Age. That's one of the reasons I trust them so much. And I've had a great experience with them over the years. But it's an issue. The FDA has simultaneously said NMN is not a supplement, but they've also not policed the NMN that's on the market. So you end up with a lot of fakes. Now, I know it was taken off Amazon and, and Walmart in the U.S. and that got rid of some of the fakes, but it's still available on the Amazon platform uh, throughout most of the rest of the world. So it, it's an issue. The fakes are still up there uh, muddying the waters of a safe NMN market otherwise. There are good NMNs to take, but I also freely acknowledge that there are some, some dangers out there. You, you need to tread carefully and uh, make sure that you have a purely sourced NMN. Worst thing number five, it's a pain in the butt. 
I kind of alluded to some of that with the rabbit hole. Uh, NMN and all of this NMN lifestyle and all these supplements every day, especially when I go travel, but just my routine of not eating before 11 and taking certain things at certain times every day. I mean, a normal life kind of conflicts with some of that scheduling. You can't schedule everything. And sometimes I forget to take something or sometimes I'm out and, and about and don't have the NMN with me to take in the afternoon. I take a gram in the morning. I take 500 milligrams in the afternoon. So it can be a real pain in the butt to follow this routine. And again, I freely acknowledge that. It's not for everyone all the time. It's a commitment that I personally make every day and sometimes hour by hour. Uh, and it's not easy. And uh, it's certainly one of the worst things about living the sentiment lifestyle is making myself schedule all of it, you know, doing all of it on an ongoing basis so that I get the maximum positives out of it. There are some honorable mentions that I have listed here. They're neither directly negative or positive, they're just realities of taking NMN that you deal with. It's maintenance. NMN is a maintenance program. It's it's not a cure. If you stop taking it, you will revert back to what you were before. Now, I would hope that if you take it for six months to a year, you'll lose some weight, you'll get a bit healthier, and maybe you add a year to your life or two. But if you really want the maximum lifespan benefits, I mean, this is coming from CEOs of the companies that have heard back from people that stopped taking it and their arthritis returned when it had gone away, you know, taking NMN, for example. So it is a maintenance program. Again, it's just reality. Is it positive? Is it negative? It's up to you to decide. It's just a fact that I freely acknowledge here. And then the question becomes, all right. Say you take NMN, say you practice most of these wellness routines that I list and constantly talk about. What do you do with all the energy? Do you, you know, most of my peers are either sadly retiring or dying. And that's just a fact. I'll be 60 next year and people my age slow down and I'm not slowing down. I'm actually speeding up. I'm actually getting better every three months. I have a plan, as I've said many times, and I'm practicing it in the background, right, to restart a music career because I had a hit song decades ago in Argentina, and it was always in the recesses of my dreams uh, to pursue that goal. And NMN allowed it to come to the forefront. You know, it, it, it allowed me to focus more energy on pursuing a dream of going to Argentina and performing that song and some others that I've written over the years. But what's your dream? You know, what are you going to do with all that energy? It sounds like a simple problem to have, but did you have, did you do the right things with all your energy at 25 and 30? Maybe not. You know, many of us didn't. And so are you going to repeat those mistakes or is this a chance to maybe semi-turn back the clock and right some wrongs that you may have, you know, performed in your life. So uh, it is a question, is a challenge. It's neither negative nor positive. It's just another reality that I freely acknowledge here, kind of an honorable mention. Um, I'm going to talk more about my routine coming up. Uh, it's, it's evolved over the past months and years. Yeah, many other things coming soon. Stay tuned.